We are back at Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire for the second and final string of this final match of the first ever Women's Pro Series Singles Knockout Tournament. Coming into the last string, Cindy Colley, who is starting on lane 23, is leading by 29 pins over Marion Johnson on, the, uh, on lane 24. Cindy had a 126 in the first string and Marion had 97. So Marion has a pretty big hill to climb in this, this uh, second string. And Cindy's been bowling really well all day. I might add, though, that uh, Marion Johnson has had a terrific day uh, up to this point. In addition to qualifying first with a 6.59 for five strings, uh, she's obviously won three matches to get here to the finals. In her first match, she defeated Kelsey Easterbrooks, 116 to 110. And then in the second round, she had a uh, down to the wire 113 to 112 win over Sandy Bianco. And then in the third round, she um, knocked off Lois Queen, 114 to 106. And and beside, here's a here's a look at uh, at the uh, spare that Cindy Colley just made a one two four ten the four pin had slid over a little bit. She used some wood there to uh, to convert the spare. Cindy has also uh, obviously had a, a really good day. She's done quite well in match play as well. In the uh, uh, the first round, she defeated. Maria Mazzarella, 146 to 106. And then in the second round, she had a 132 to 102 win over Cheryl Duvall. And there's another spare. And then in the third round, 145 to 144 win over Melissa Casey. And that ball, that, that match went right down to the end as Melissa had a spare fill in the 10th, needing eight to tie, nine to win. And she got seven and had at least two of the three pins were wiggling. So I'm not sure if I caught that one on video. There's a strike by Cindy Colley. But uh, we might have video of that earlier match. In any case, uh, Cindy is really piling it on here. She's got three marks in a row with a strike. And... There's a nice shot by Marion Johnson, though, converting that 1-6-10 split. So through four, Marion has 32 of the ball working. Now she adds four for 36. And Cindy has, uh, what has she got? 55 with a strike up. And she drops eight, leaving an 8-10 with some wood that might prove useful. Let's see what happens. And it does go. That's uh, that's four consecutive marks for Cindy Colley. And she's really got a commanding lead at this point. I think it would be safe to say. Here's a, uh, a look at the replay on this 810. You see, I think there are at least four pieces of wood there. And she's able to cover the 810 that way. So they'll switch sides after five boxes. Marion Johnson has 46, and Cindy Colley has uh, 75 with the ball working. And she's going to add 5 to that, so she'll have an 80 half. So Cindy is looking pretty good to become the, the champion of the first ever Women's Pro Series event. As I mentioned, both of these bowlers are members of the Sunday Pro League, which is held here at Park Place. It's a once a month mixed draft scratch league. It's the only league of its kind that I know of where the best bowlers from New England, men and women, get together once a month and bowl two matches. And it's Always a, a competitive league, but but uh, a lot of fun, too. And there is another spare by Cindy Colley. And there's a spare by Marion Johnson as well. She converts the notorious 
Kaliri. And let's take a look at how she does it. Nice one-two pocket hit to take that four horsemen, and that wood in front of the nine pin helps to uh, helps her to convert the spare. Cindy Cully with six, seven, eight, and it's after a fashion, it's a strike. That was uh, maybe not the most authoritative strike you're ever going to see, but ten pins hit the deck, so that's what counts. Marion Johnson will be open in the here in the eighth frame. <coughs> And it'll be an eight box. I think that's Christy Moore encouraging both bowlers. She says they're hot stuff, and who are we to disagree with that assessment? And Marion Johnson with a strike. Let's take a look at how that happened. Nice high flush, one two pocket hit. Really, really solid, and you can see the sidewall action here to take out the uh, the nine, and finally the six pin goes. That's uh, a strike in the ninth for Marion. Cindy Colley with a two four seven with some nice wood, and she is able to convert that. That gives Cindy one thirty seven with a spare up in the ninth. And meanwhile, Marion Johnson has. 84 with a strike up. And Cindy adds 5. Marion puts 6 down on the first ball on that strike bill. But in any case, Cindy Colley has uh, more than enough pins to win the title at this point. So she will take the $400 first prize in this first ever inaugural Women's Pro Series Tournament. Here is the congratulation from Marion Johnson, well deserved. And you'll see the scores in just a moment. Cindy Colley, 276. Runner-up Marion Johnson, 198. Great bowling all day by both bowlers. So that the, uh, the first Women's Pro Series Tournament is in the books, and we will see you down the road.